Puck picked up there by Kavanaugh. He pick, sends a pass over to Moran, broken up by Horivik. Horivik in over the line. His shot right on, and Champion with the save, and he drops it there for Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh trying to get away from Horivik, and Horivik knocks him down. As McCoslin gets, gets, gets hit up high there, as McMillan comes in, and uh, everything's starting to break loose here now. McMillan being tied up there by Kavanaugh, Moran. Everyone's tied up here as Arsenal pulls down one guy. Moraz being manhandled there by one of the linesmen. Parisien trying to get his shot in. Mylan's also in there. Brenham on the ice. McMillan being pushed to the ice here. McCoslin's got Milson in a headlock. Horivic dropped his gloves here with... That's Saab. McCoslin being restrained by the linesman. Mylan uh, giving Parisien, uh, kind of showing Parisien what the score is up on the scoreboard. Saab being restrained there by one of the referees. And Horivic also on his knees in front of the penalty box. So we had ourselves a... Good old-fashioned brouhaha here with two minutes and 43 seconds to go. All this is the result of the uh, hit to uh, Seymour Jodwin, which didn't re result in a penalty. And so everyone's kind of, all the linesmen are, are sitting there, and the referees are sorting everything out. So the Wildcats have McMillan, Horrific, and McCoslin in the penalty box. And it's Saab, Morin, and Nilsson in the penalty box for the Maniacs. And they're still hollering and, and jawing at each other. Thane Arsenal actually just telling the Wildcats players to sit down instead of going over and talking to the Maniac players. And I would suspect there's going to be a whole lot of uh, twos and tens and ten minutes here handed out to finish off this game. And the, the ice is absolutely littered with helmets and gloves and so what we will do, we will step away for just a couple of moments. Two minutes and 43 seconds to go here in the third period. It's a 3-1 Wildcat lead here at the Andrews Goggin Bank Colise in game one of the 2011 Quebec Major Junior Hockey League playoffs. You're listening to Precision Accurate Wildcats Hockey on News 91.9. Next time on the New Brunswick Morning News with Dan Allstrand. On the Monday edition of the New Brunswick Morning News, we'll take a look at preserving historical buildings. The argument over Moncton High can...